Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, market outlook time. You know what that means. We're going to take a look at this week in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team and talk about what market movements we could see, what type of content, and how we might be able to make some coins this week in FIFA in this Road to the Final Team number one promo. So yes, right now it's Road to the Final Team one, as we know. And there is a few things that I want to point out. We're looking at the market tonight on early Monday morning, late Sunday night, squad battle rewards time frame i don't know how many people are playing squad battle rewards anymore or are playing squad battles and getting rewards but the market still is impacted every single week by the rewards that come out so there still must be people playing so it is late sunday night and again we're going to take a look at this market right now rewards were a couple hours ago you uh, again have seen that a bit of supplies come onto the market some of the gold cards have dropped and the first thing that i'm going to mention today is Doing a club stock is going to be a really good idea, in my opinion, in the near future if you have not done one already. This is pro this is going to set you up for the next couple of weeks. Honestly, we have a lot of SBCs on the horizon with Player of the Months, more Road to the Final content, and of course, Icon SBCs on the horizon. So we'll be talking about that Icon SBC thing a little bit later, but 84s look to be really cheap right now. A lot of these cards are usually around 2.6, 2.7, to 3K. They're down in the low twos. Uh, Grimaldo, 2.5K as a Spanish left back. What I would do is just go through, pick some of these up on bid or on snipe. Even today, like if, you, if you're looking to do something with your coins, you don't mind setting aside a couple hundred K possibly, uh, or maybe even 100,000 coins, stacking up on some 83s, good leagues, good nations, 84s, 85s even. 86 is maybe not quite yet, but 82s to 85s would be kind of the range right now that I would focus on doing a club stock because I think these players are low and getting them in the club, there's going to be more SBCs that are coming out in the future that are going to make these cards go up. So just getting yourself ready for those SBCs could be big. Now, if you, of course, if you're investing for a player of the month like a Harry Kane or a Hyunmin Sun that could possibly come out this next Friday, uh, then maybe you would want to dip into some of the higher ratings, right? Maybe some 86s, maybe some 87s, 88s. But just be careful with those because, of course, player of the month so far this year, none of them have really been cheap. I don't think we've had like a super good value player of the month SBC yet. Even like the League One uh, player of the month SBC, the, the Niane, I think is his name that's out right now. Calvert Lewin was overpriced. Uh, you know, Cramerich was okay. Niane was kind of overpriced for the player that he is, the leagues and the links. Uh, and honestly, like Oyarzabal might be the best value in terms of just like st statistics on a player of the month card that we've gotten so far. Ansu Fadi wasn't bad, um, but we haven't really had a good value player of the month card yet. And I think that just makes sense because EA is, I don't know, I don't know if EA wants us to be able to complete a really good SBC, a really good card SBC this early on in the game. And they're not really requiring really expensive stuff. So we haven't had like any huge names win player of the month yet. So Hyunmin Sun, if he does win, of course, player of the month Mbappe is on the horizon. Some people ask me about Mbappe. Mbappe can't come out because the vote yet has not been released. And there's still 13 days left on this Niane SBC. The Calvert-Lewin SBC is going away in four hours or something like that. And I think we're going to be getting Premier League player of the month this Friday. So this upcoming Friday should be Prem player of the month. That is something that we will see. The Bundesliga Player of the Month has seven days remaining on the SBC. The voting for that should be open. Uh, if you Google EA Sports Player of the Month, you can go on there and vote for the Premier League one right now, and probably Bundesliga voting will open up very, very soon. So that's kind of some Player of the Month. Maybe do a club stock this week. That's probably something that would be a smart thing to do. I think we're going to get more SBCs as a part of this promo. And again, taking a look at the webpage about this promo, they continue to say here, and Foot Economist even tweeted this out himself, uh, the Foot Economist who works at EA, he highlighted this sentence right here on Friday when the promo was released and said, stay tuned for additional UEFA Champions League and Europa League themed content throughout the campaign. And as of right now, we don't have any Europa League cards in the game. It's only Champions League cards. So... I have a feeling that some of those cards might come through objectives, might come through squad battle uh, building challenges, and then even, I don't even know if they're going to put more Europa League cards into packs or what they're going to do, uh, but that's kind of like the biggest question mark for this week even, as we head on to the week, like what is this going to look like in terms of um, just 
Are we going to be getting UEL cards? Are they going to put more cards into packs? Are they going to try to crash the market and stuff like that? So of course, that was like the that's the biggest question mark for this week, in my opinion, is what is EA going to drop content wise related to Europa League stuff, related to more Champions League contents? Because we do have two SBCs out right now and one objective player, but I feel like we're going to get at least two or three more because this is a big promo for EA. Like, and so far the player selection, as you guys know and we've talked about, is kind of lackluster, but the SBC content, the SBC player selection has been decent so far. Um, so I'll be curious to see, especially if we get the um, the Champions League SBC card being used. Not a road to the final, but the Champions League like SBC card. It's uh, like a green with purple on the bottom. So that uh, is something that could be used even this week. Or we could have another Forsberg type SBC for his UCL, um, a player moments version for a UCL player that performed in a game in the past. So that could be something we see this week as well. Um, of course, this is the SBC that people are talking about right now, the 81 plus UCL upgrade, because this is what was released yesterday on Sunday, and it did impact the market a little bit. In my opinion, what you did see is right away when this SBC dropped, you saw players like Sun, like Joe Gomez, like Varane, they were panic sold. Now, panic sold a little bit, but what happened was Footbin, Something is up with Footbin right now. I don't know if you guys are having the same issue, but Footbin is having issues with updating player prices because today they were saying that Hyunmin Sun was dropping down like 20,000 coins. Footbin had Varan listed at 261,000 coins. And, you know, he technically was getting listed there because people were seeing the Footbin price and listing him up there. He was still actually like 290. 300k um so just be careful with flipping right now if you're gonna list a card don't just go look at flipping and like okay that's the price actually check the card price on the game because that's that extra like checking might save you a lot of coins in this case it saved people a lot of coins with, with veron today and bape had the same issue flipping yesterday was listing him at 1.27 and he was selling at 1.5 that's crazy so flipping please get it together uh, I don't know what the issue is with that, but there was panic selling right away today when the 81 plus UCL upgrade came out. It costs 8k to do the pack. Is it worth it? It's really not. Maybe do like one or two packs just to see if you get anything sick from it. The player pool is kind of small, right? Because there's only the UCL cards in there. Actually on stream today, uh, we packed somebody in Neymar from these packs. So I can't just sit here and tell you to not do any of them because we packed a Neymar yesterday. But they're really not good value because you have to get a walkout every time to make your money back from the SBC uh, because 85s are going for like 5K and 86s are 11K. So it's got to be either a um, OP lower rated card like a uh, like a, a Ferlin Mendy, an Usman Dembele. You need a card like that to be able to get your money back from this SBC or you have to get a 86 plus every time if it's a fodder type player. So that's just something to keep in mind. I would not do many of these, maybe do a couple, test your luck, but it's really not worth it. So this is notable though. This is the first uh, like repeatable upgrade SBC that we have had this year. I know we have the gold upgrades that are always out, but this is different because it's an 81 plus. This is the first real upgrade SBC that we have had this year. So again, speaking about the market and what is kind of going on right now, it looks like some of the squad battle supply is rolling in. Some of these prices still look kind of decent to me. Uh, at the moment now I have bought some cards uh, I have some cards on my transfer list and stuff some stuff looks like it's rebounded slightly already after rewards but one thing that I am noticing is I'm scrolling through some of these past team of the week cards and some of these are still pretty low Zaha 220 is pretty low for me I might have to get involved with that one uh, scrolling down through even some of these older rule breaker cards these guys are pretty low still um Llorente is really low at 5,328, excuse me. Andre 69K is really low. He was 80K. Maybe that's a foot bin undercut. That could possibly be the case there. Yeah. Again, another foot bin undercut. It's telling you Andre is 69K, but he's actually 78,79. So just be careful with these foot bin prices, man. They're all, all over the place. But I do think you will see a little bit of a market rise into the week this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, kind of like last week. Now, of course, um, it could very easily stop and be halted depending on the content that EA puts out. They could easily put out some sort of SBC or, or something to make that stuff drop later this week, whether it's a repeatable SBC, pack supply SBC. Alan St. Maxman is very cheap right now. That could be a flip. Courtois is not even that bad. 
Um, let me check once watches. What is Partey? 185, 210 for Bale. Now, again, it's international uh, break this weekend. By the way, if you have a Ziyech wants to watch, please sell it because he's not getting an inform. He had an inform in last week's team of the week, and he had one assist. His card is up 20,000 coins because of an assist. So just be careful with that one. But some of these informs are low, and I do think they will rebound into Monday, Tuesday time frame. They are out of packs. If they're still low when you're watching this, take a look at the graphs. Now, be careful, right? This Bruno Fernandez. I don't think I would really invest in him because he is a front runner for team of the week this week because of his performance um, against Everton over the weekend. That's why this card is down like 70, 80,000 coins. Now, if for some reason Bruno does not get in, this card will shoot right back up over 350 on the PlayStation and probably like to 350 plus, 370 maybe on the Xbox as well. Um, but I think he is going to get in a team of the week because EA is not going to miss out on a chance to get a little GGMU action. Uh, in, in the team of the week. So just be careful with that. If you do have that card, that'll be something to keep an eye on. And one thing that I actually shouted on stream, um, when was it? Friday night. Now this is kind of, you can't make this investment anymore because the card's already risen, but we were looking at Opara. Opara is 46,000 coins. And this is just one teaching point that I want to talk about in this video because we're, we're here right now. So Opara shot up a bunch with the USA slash MLS um, milestone objectives that came out last week and on on um on uh friday and friday and saturday this guy was about thirty-seven thousand coins after going all the way up to 75k uh when the objective came out of course that happened midweek on the weekend people sell their objective cards and they sell their cards and they go play weekend league right so on friday and saturday this guy went all the way down to 35 36 000 coins i picked him one up i should have bought more and then what happens is people finish their weekend league, they go back to doing objectives. So this card riz has risen all the way back up to 46,000, 50,000 coins almost is what I'm hoping to get for Opara. So that's one thing that we can kind of take note of for the future is that people that are doing objectives during the week, those cards that are expensive that rise and out of packs in form or out of packs card, if it does drop over the weekend because people are playing weekend league, we can kind of watch that card for a rise back up when people go to complete that objective again in the midweek. So that's just something to think about that was a moneymaker um, today. But again, watch through some of these out of packs informs. Di Maria, 351, right? This guy was almost 400K earlier this weekend um, on Sunday, even. Yeah, he hit 379,000 coins, so 380K. And then on, sun or on Saturday, he was 390 on both consoles. So the fact this guy's down in the 350s. That's kind of interesting to me. So just, I do think you will see a little bit of a market rise into the early part of this week. Now, again, speaking of content, what do we have laid out for us this week? It's really another question mark, right? We're not guaranteed. There's no UEFA marquee matchups this week. Um, the thing that's gonna carry the content in FIFA Ultimate Team this week is going to be the player SBCs and whatever other road to the final SBCs that they put out. Now, again, according to the website, it looks like that uh, the cards that are in packs right now are road to the final team one. Road to the final team one players are in packs right now. Uh, and they're in packs for, again, four days and 12 hours. So that is Friday, 6 p.m. UK. Rewards this week is going to be interesting because these cards are not very packable, if I'm being completely honest. Their prices are dropping. And last year, we looked at buying these cards on Sunday night into Monday. I think I would hold off on these cards still because they're still dropping. They're still getting packed and they don't have any Champions League games for another three weeks, two weeks, actually. The 24th of, October, of November is the next time we have Champions League. So I would hold off on buying these cards, in my opinion. Some of the really meta ones might rise up, but I think Thursday rewards might be kind of the time frame to buy these cards. I think you might want to wait just because there's not as much hype with these as there were last year and we don't have games on the horizon right away. So I would wait it out if you want to buy any of these road to the final cards, let them drop. Griezmann's down a lot from where he was. Klosterman is down. Salah's down like 400K, 300,000 coins from where he was at one point. So just let these guys keep dropping in my opinion. And especially if set two comes out and it's more hype, that's usually not what happens. But I guess it could be the case this week because set one is definitely like not that hype. So that is what it is. Again, this week for content, it's kind of just a question mark. Uh, but there is going to be ways to trade. Of course, trading with the new cards, they're going to fluctuate up and down on a daily basis. The market's probably, if we don't get any content, 
going to chill and swing upwards from Monday into Wednesday before rewards. Uh, I do expect more content than last week, though. So I think we might have some interesting movements uh, maybe on Tuesday or Wednesday of this week, just with whatever content EA wants to drop. So we'll definitely keep an eye on that. But should be a good week of FIFA, boys. Road to the final is a good promo. Really good content that's come out so far, in my opinion, and hopefully it continues throughout the rest of this week. If you enjoyed this video, smash your thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.